For this recipe, you'll need ground beef, celery, garlic, rosemary, onions, breadcrumbs, tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce, tomato paste, two eggs, MSG, black pepper, chicken bouillon seasoning, paprika, and garlic powder. Next step, combine all the ingredients into a big bowl and thoroughly mix in all the seasoning. After it's been thoroughly combined, the texture should be like a hamburger patty, okay? If it's too runny, you can add some more um, breadcrumbs, but this is the way it should look, okay? So now this is ready to be thrown in the oven. And now to cook it, you can either use the traditional meatloaf pan like this, or simply do like I do. Um, just make it into individual sizes by making it into like a patty like this, like a hamburger patty. Then by using the back of the spoon, make an indentation like this to each and every one of them so that when it cooks up, it will cook up evenly because um, when it's cooking, it will puff up, but by doing this, this will make it cook all the way through evenly, okay? And then we'll bake this at 375 for about an hour or until it's thoroughly cooked. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 30 minutes. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of juice from it. At this point, you can either drain some out or let it continue to cook as is, which I like to do because it keeps the meat juicy and moist. And voila, after 40 minutes of cooking, this is what it looks like. I want to go ahead and quickly remove it from the uh, pan so that it's not sitting in the greasy oil. And voila! Meatloaf! Just grab one and cut it up for you to see what it looks like inside. Moist, not dry.
meatloaf. I hope you will like this recipe. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.